Hi everybody, my name is Sasha. And I'm Olga. Welcome to Thikas TV. So today we have two Thikas N16000s uh, with 48 terabytes of data each and 16 hard drives each. And today we're going to discuss a major function on some of our enterprise NAS, high availability. But first we're going to give you a brief introduction to the products that offer this feature. The N16000, which is presented here, and N12000 series are Thikus' top enterprise models. They both run Intel Xeon processors and support 10 gigabit Ethernet. The Pro versions, which will be coming out shortly, uh, will have 10 gigabit Ethernet built in with 10G base T. And they have also received VMware iSCSI certification, in addition to being VMware and Citrix ready, to give you a number of options for creating virtual sense in a business environment. So now back to today's main focus, high availability or HA. HA is a way to prevent downtime with your NAS by having two NAS with one acting as a live backup to the other. HA is similar in concept to RAID 1. So for example, in RAID 1, if one disk fails, a clone of that disk takes over so you don't lose any data. And same here in HA. If one NAS fails, a clone of that NAS takes over so you have continuous service. So this can be very useful for websites, cloud services, and any other kind of web hosting that cannot afford even a moment's downtime. So here we have our two N16000s connected in an HA configuration. They are constantly synchronizing their data over this heartbeat, so that if one goes down, the other will take over immediately. This heartbeat can also be 10 gigabit for heavier needs. Right, and so here we, you see that we connect to, to the active NAS, and we're going to force one of this NAS to fail and see what happens. So this failure could be uh, one of many possible hardware issues. So we're going to simulate all of those by pulling the plug. And when this happens, the NAS can notify you in a number of ways, including the system log or with the email. So now, HA is down, but the NAS's services are all still active. As you can see, they're all running smoothly. For example, I can still look through the UI, and browsing around the NAS is no problem. To get HA started back up, once the NAS is repaired and turned on, HA will automatically rebuild itself. We are connected to the UI on the left of the screen and to files on the NAS on the right through Samba. It is connected to these NAS through a shared virtual IP. On this screen, you can see HA is up and running. So now I'm going to replace the power cable and it will automatically begin rebuilding HA. At this point, this NAS can resume its duties as the active server or it can become the passive server, depending on how you set it up. And so now that the NAS is back, HA begins to rebuild itself. And depending on how much data is stored in your NAS, and the connection, the type of connection you're using, you'll look back on in a matter of hours, or even minutes. This is the end of our presentation, and we hope you learned something. So check out the N16000 and N12000 series, or our other products at Thikus.com, or on our YouTube channel at Thikus TV. Also, join us on the Thinkus Facebook page. Thanks for watching.